We begin with our continuing coverage of that fiery crash on the Atlantic City Expressway Sunday night. Three siblings were killed when a car slammed into the Egg Harbor Toll Plaza. Today, Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo spoke to the only survivor of that accident, and he has her story. Matt? Yuki, today that 12 year old girl was walking around without any major injuries. She tells me a man helped save her life, but she wishes she was able to save the lives of her three siblings. I was just scared and scared for my everyone in the car. With just a small scratch by her left eye and some bruises on her head, 12 year old Michelle Key remembers the heart pounding moments she narrowly escaped this car that crashed into a toll booth and caught fire along the Atlantic City Expressway Sunday night. It was on fire and I just opened the door and got out. I was just worried for my other sister because I looked to my left where my sister was sitting and the fire was blocking it. After she was out of the car and away from the fire, she says she turned around and began to walk towards the flames, hoping to pull her sister to safety. But she says Will Del Val, a pastor who was driving towards the toll booth at the time, got out of his car, saw her, and yelled for her to get away from the burning vehicle. She listened and ran towards him before the car eventually exploded. I just really like to thank you for helping that one day because. I really was so close to just going back in to see my sister. Her father, Socket Keeve, calls his daughter's survival a miracle. She is so lucky. She is so lucky. But the incident took the lives of three of his children, 31-year-old Tony Keeve on the left, 27-year-old Johnny, and his 14-year-old daughter, Keo. My wife cry every day. Still, the family is grateful for the support given for funeral costs on their GoFundMe page. It's very appreciated for my family and everyone who passed. And the toll booth where that crash happened remained closed today for repairs. State police are still investigating the cause of that crash. Live in Hamilton, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you for that.